If you have a website speed optimization service, we do recommend that you build a form for this. Instead of going back and forth with emails, we recommend that you build a form specially tailored for this service. And we're going to help you build one of these. So follow me to my desktop right now. Welcome to JotForm. My name is George and today I'm going to show you how to build the website optimization form to receive clients information. This way, the process is going to be more smooth than going back and forth with emails. Now, to get started, we're going to build a form. So it's going to create a form and there's options to use a template, but there's several templates available. We're going to make one specially tailored for website speed optimization. Now we have two options, a classic form and a card form. I would recommend a card form since, since there's going to be a lot of questions that are going to be asked for the service and maybe having the form in one single place might look overwhelming. So step by step makes it a little bit easier. But in this case, I'll use classic form because this way we're going to view all the elements in a single page. Okay. So this is our form builder for job form. And we're going to get started by dragging in the elements that we are going to need. So to get started, obviously we need to ask for the basics. Okay. So first off, we're going to need the name, the email, maybe the phone number. Okay. And we're going to get more specific with this. Okay. So let's add a short text and we're going to ask for the company name, company name. Here we go. And next we're going to ask for the website. So in this case, we're going to add another short text here. Here we go. Website. And the next we're going to ask for what type of platform or CMS system they're using. This is super important, especially if you know what you're doing, because we need to know if they're using WordPress, Wix, PHP, or other type of CMS systems. So we know how we're going to optimize. Okay. So again, let's select a drop down menu here. Here we go. And we're going to ask what type of platform CMS. Okay. And in the drop down sections, we'll add, for example, WordPress, which is really popular, PHP, Wix, Joomla, and there, there's several others and others. Okay. Other. So that gives it a drop down menu to know what platform they're using. So this is really important. Next thing we want to know is who is the hosting provider. So again, We'll add a short text and we're going to ask who is your hosting provider. And again, they'll add it there in case you're using um, X hosting provider, they'll add, they'll type it in here. Okay. Next thing we want to know if they have access to certain aspects of their website, like their DNS provider, their hosting provider and access to the actual CMS. So we'll add a check mark for this. So here we go. Multiple choice. We'll add it here. And we're going to say, okay. And the first option is going to be, for example, DNS settings, CMS access, hosting provider, and we'll keep it simple. Okay. So we're going to ask those. So they'll check mark what they do have access to. This is really important because if you don't have access to some of these, it might make it impossible for you to optimize the site for speed. Okay. Now we're going to need to know what the goals are for our clients. So if they want a specific goal for a specific reason, for example, Google page speed, or maybe just a faster loading speed. So we need to know some of these questions. So it's going to be a multiple choice. And let's ask the question here. Okay. Speed optimization goals. And one would be, for example, faster website loading time. Google page speed improvement time to first combined improvement and other ones that you might remember. Okay. So let's get rid of type four for now, but again, you can add your own and as many as you would need to ask your clients. Now, what are the geographical target goal here? And that's important because if you are offering speed optimization, then you would know that content delivery network is super important. So if they want to focus on a certain country, then you want to make sure that you're using the fastest content delivery network CDN. So that's where this question is going to come from. Okay. So let's add a short text here. And that's the question that we're going to ask here. So let's go ahead and add it. Here we go. Primary geographic target audience. So this is going to help us know who their primary target is. So for example, it could be worldwide, 
but it could be specific to, for example, um, Asia or a specific country like United Kingdom, etc. And this helps us decide what the content delivery network we're going to use or focus on. Now we're going to ask for current technical issues in case our client knows what the issues are. So let's go ahead and add this and we're going to ask a multiple choice. So let's add it here. Let's add the question. Technical issues would be, for example, slow loading time. Images are too large. Unoptimized CSS JS. Okay. And those are some of the examples I can provide you. There, there's several more. And it just depends how many you want to add, but those are just some of them. The next thing we're going to ask is for desired optimization systems that we want to implement. So again, let's add another multiple choice. Let's add them here. For example, it could be caching, which would be a cache plugin in case it's WordPress or a custom PHP cache system. Optimize images, CDN, and many more. Okay. So again, they can decide just in case they know, or we'll add one more. For example, in this case, um, I don't know, just in case they don't know, you need, you don't need to force them to answer something like this because it might be a little bit complex or they might know, might not know a lot about website optimization. So it's just something that we could ask. Now we're going to ask, um, when do we want to get started with this project and when do they need it done by? So let's add a date picker. So let's add one date picker here. And this will be the start date, desired project start date, and another uh, date picker here. And let's add for, and we'll add this one for desired project completion date, which is really important. So now we want to know what their budget is and the end message. So we'll add the long form at the end, and we'll add the long text here for, for example, other details. And the last one that we're going to add is the budget. So we're going to add a number row here, for example budget okay so now we have a complete form obviously we can tweak this make it look nice and all that but these are the main elements that we kind of suggested here for a website speed optimization service so we have the basic details name phone number email and obviously we need to know the company name the website that's going to be fixed what type of cms system for this if they know for example wordpress php wix joomla other the hosting provider do you have admin access to the following? So these are really important questions that we need to ask. Speed optimization goals, primary geographic target audience, current technical issues. So if they know these, or for example, again, we can add here, I don't know, like we did on the next question. And desired technical improvements, desired project start date, the completion date, the budget, and other details that they might have. The idea of creating this form is to avoid going back and forth with questions that should be answered from the beginning. This will save you a ton of time when you start a new project or when quoting a new client, because you're going to know firsthand what they might need based on this form. Well, there you go. That is the form that we suggest for a website speed optimization service. We thank you all for watching. Don't forget to like, subscribe, and hit that little bell notification to get notified when new videos come out. And that's a wrap.